are you doing? Um, I'm gonna show you how to hook up a grounding cable um, to your generator. I just went and purchased the Predator 8,750 watt generator um, to use for my building as my hobby. So this is it right here. Um, it say do not exceed 58 amps total. Um, this got about 73 some amps, but you definitely don't want to push it because you're dealing with um, power electric if you want more power then get you a bigger generator um, This is my first time purchasing a predator. I heard some great reviews about it. So um, We're gonna go ahead and get started. I had begun to start this already and I thought about it. I said, I think I better make a video out of this. So that's what I'm about to do. There's a couple of things that you're going to need. Definitely you're going to need a socket wrench for about like a 10 millimeter uh, if you're getting the same things. And you're also going to need like a half inch um, uh, ratchet or something like that as well um, when you cook this um, connector up. Okay, so what we have here is a grounding clamp. I picked this up at Home Depot for about like a buck ninety nine, maybe two dollars and fifty cents, something like that. You're gonna need that because that goes over your five eighth, eight foot grounding rod that you gotta bury in the ground. It's about eight feet, so I took a hammer drill, which is five eighth opening, and so I was able to put that on top, stand on the ladder, and pound it down. Took me less than about three to five minutes, you know, somewhere in that area. So I got it in the ground right here already, as you can see. I covered it back up with dirt and I drilled a hole and I'm running my six gauge um, solid copper wire from it. So I took the bottom of it that's in the ground and put it inside of the clamp that went over the top of the grounding rod. And then I put it down here on this side, you know, and back. Don't put the wire where the screw is and thinking you're gonna close it off. Put it in the back because the screw will push against that wire and close it off and make it a nice tight seal. And that's what you want. Um, I also did it, I got a steel building as you can see. And I grounded that out as well. And I did the same thing and I ran it from the ground and I drilled a hole inside the building and then I put one of them same terminal clamps which I'll show you in a few minutes and I mounted it to the building and the reason why electricity is real dangerous and if you get lightning electrical storm or something like that you definitely don't want stuff to short out and you definitely don't want to get shocked um, so I grounded my building too because electricity want to go down into the earth and that's why they call it grounding wire. Um, you definitely don't want two hands on something either because you holding something with both hands and as there's a surge, electricity looking for the most conductive and the fastest way out. And so it'll go through one arm across your chest to out your other arm and it'll mess your heart up and you don't want nothing like that. So, um, that's pretty much it. Now this is the terminal, um, lag that i got and it's for like a max of six gauge wire which is that wire that i just showed you that copper wire coming up out the ground which i'm going to connect to the generator this here cost about um a dollar 99 maybe two bucks as well um like 250 from home depot okay so here we are this is the ground thing um clamp here so i got this terminal clamp here i already tucked the parts off um, just got a little washer, so I'm going to put this little washer on first, like we got right here. So, I'm putting this on, and I'm just going to mount this first. So, this is the terminal clamp. Um, when I bag that screw out, this opens up, and I want to put the wire behind that little thing right here that you can see. But, my main goal right now is to take this, put that on. This is a locking nut. I want to put that locking nut on. And I want to take this here, little nut. It's a lock washer and it's little nut. And I want to screw that on. Okay, so I, I'm getting that on. And I'm going to turn it this way because that's what my wire is coming from over here on the inside. This is a six gauge solid copper wire that you can see right here, I hope. Okay, so that I want to put on here so I'm going to stick it in there and that way it ain't going to have to bend and come up like this I could make it bend and come up and I might just do that a little bit later on supposedly now this generator got a battery that I purchased as well and I'm going to hook this up and they gave me some little tools that came with the generator for the battery hold down that goes right here 
So I do got the tools. I'm gonna use a fuel stabilizer uh, with it. I bought this oil here. It's a synthetic two cycle. But um, I'm thinking I need 10W30, so I gotta read the manual. But you can always look it up. And I'm gonna take care of it with that there. Um, and put that in first. Let's see. I'm gonna go ahead and get started and I'll show you um, how things is gonna turn out in a few minutes. Okay, I'm back. So basically what I did so far, I just took this here and I cut this wire. I'm gonna have my son to kind of hold this phone a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. Hold this phone right here and I'll let you know if it's not doing what it's supposed to do. Right here is real good. So I'm gonna take this here and I got a little screwdriver. So I'm gonna bag this out and I took my Lymans. If you know anything about electrical, then you know there's a thing called Lymans and stuff like that. I'm going to bag this all the way out because I need to be able to get that in behind here. Okay, these are called Lymans. They use this in the electrical field a lot, you know. And so I took that and I bent because it's strong. I cut it with this as well. Got a cutter and it also got some grips to hold other wire for stripping. Anyways, um, come in a little bit closer right here for me. Thank you. Okay, I'm going to take this and I'm going to put it inside of here. Now, use your linings because this is a stiff wire and you want to get it kind of where you need to get it at. Um, I don't like to work hard. I like to work smart. So I'm going to get that in just like this. I left it kind of loose. So when I move this around... I can get stuff where I need it to be. But my main goal is to get that all the way up in there where I need to be. And it looks like it's all the way in there where it needs to be. Gonna double check, triple check, everything. So now I'm gonna start screwing and I'm gonna screw it real nice and tight. I ain't gonna even play with it. I want it nice and tight. I don't want this thing to go nowhere. I want it to stay fully grounded because for one, you don't want your machine to mess up. You definitely don't want whatever you got hooked up to this messed up. Okay, so looks like I got it. Um, I left a lot. Um, I left a lot of tube in here because, like I said, I might put it here, staple it down, and make it come straight up so this don't be in the way. Because I got to get on this side to start it and stuff like that. You put the oil in down here. Um, so now what I'm going to do is tighten this down. I got a number 10 ratchet. You really shouldn't use no power tools on here like this, but I'm going to do it anyway. So I'm taking my hand, as you can see, holding that wire down a little bit. I'm holding my camera, so I got to use what God gave me. Okay, so I got that, and it looks like it's nice and tight. Um, that's tight as far as I'm concerned. This is nice and tight, so that's in there real nicely. I'm going to take some staples and some used stuff because it looks like it will do better. I'm either going to probably mount it down, put some screws and stuff in here and mount this down because I, what I did, I built a shed for it and that's the whole purpose of this video is I built the shed so it can be outside and I can close it off and that way it'll keep some of that sound out and it also protects it from the rain. Um, I got neighbors and stuff, so I don't know if you can hear in the background, somebody that's about over 100 feet away got their generator running, and I can hear it. It's not really loud, it's not bothering me, but I don't want to bother my neighbors. I don't want them to even hear mine. And